Good morning, good morning guys. You guys already know what it is. We're gonna have a fishing day today. Um, I think this is called, it's weird. I think this place, I don't know if they changed the name of this reservoir or something, but when you look on it on Google Maps, it says Blonde Reservoir, but then when you do directions to it, it's called something else. I think it starts with the A, I can't remember. I'm sure it'll be in the title of the video or something. But uh, yeah, guys, we're here, we're targeting trout. So the, the, uh, this lake opened April 1st and they, he told me at the front gate that they had just stocked it with like 33,000 pounds of trout. And it's actually down about six feet right now. So that could actually work good for us. Uh, I'm gonna start down here on the dock. Uh, I'm gonna be throwing around some cast masters and stuff and I'm just gonna work my way down and let's see if we can get on some nice trout boys. Let's get it. All right, got it all set up. I got uh, that pole in the water. I have a sliding weight to about maybe 12 to 14 inches of uh, leader line. And then I have a size 12 treble hook with some uh, chartreuse uh, power bait on there. So that's what I'm going to have on that uh, pole. I'm going to be switching out different kinds of power bait. Um, and then on this pole, I just tied on a, uh, a cast master. A, it's like a black and gold uh, cast master with black and red dots on it. So this worked really good when I was up at the river. And the guy at the front gate told me if I have any cast masters to throw them because they love them. So we're going to try that out today and let's see how many we can get. There's literally, I was trying to walk down the rock right there, there's literally a skunk right there. Whew. And he's turning his butt toward me. I'm not sure how far they can spray, but I am not messing with that dude. We're gonna go around. Screw that, it's a good thing I was paying attention and I didn't walk past him. Probably would've sprayed me. Got one, boys. I went the wrong way with the drag. Where's my net at? Ooh. Where is he going, boys? There he is. Knew they were biting. Come here, boy. Lay down. Let me look at you. Come here, boy. Not very big. Definitely one of the stocked trout that they just stocked. Woo! Let's go, boys. There's number one. Number one, number one. Didn't even have my net extended. That would have helped. What's up, Rainbow? Here you go guys, first rainbow of the day. Let me, oh shit. I'm gonna try to get this guy out of here just nice and easy. All right, here we go boys. Let's try to get this guy going again. There he goes. A little bit of blood, but he'll be all right. Ooh, it's muddy down here guys, I should've brought my waders i wasn't even thinking all right guys good morning you guys can see we are out here again getting back at it we came out here to blunt reservoir uh it's the same place i was at yesterday i wanted to come back out here and get some revenge on those like what four or five trout that i missed yesterday i mean at least we caught one so we didn't get skunked but i definitely want to get my revenge on some of these trout so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna walk all the way down to the far side of the lake where I was at yesterday and I caught that one. And I'm gonna start down there for a few hours, see if I can get some of those trout. And then if not, I might make my way around to the other side of the lake because I don't think a lot of people fish over there. So there's probably some real nice honey holes. So we're definitely gonna be on the trout today, boys, and hopefully get at least more than five. I mean, look at that, guys. It's so freaking beautiful out here. The sun's out. It's a nice clear day. There's no wind right now. All right, guys. Let me show you what the setup is for today. This is the same setup I was using yesterday. 
I forget what it is. It might be one fourth ounce. I can't remember exactly, but it's a pretty good size sliding weight. And then of course we have a little uh, little red bead in between, so it's not banging up against our swivel. We have a uh, double sided swivel. I forget exactly what they're called. Um, and then we have, I wanna say, maybe about 13, 14 inches or so of leader line. And then I have a size 12 treble hook with some chartreuse power bait on here. So uh, this is what we're gonna be using on one of our poles. And then for my other pole, I'm gonna start off throwing around a cast master. And then if I don't get anything throwing that around, then I'm probably just gonna end up putting the same setup as this one and throwing some more power bait. So we'll see what they wanna bite on today. Yesterday, um, I think I got one bite on the lure, but other than that, they were just hitting on the power bait. So let's get it in, boys. Get out there, it's a good distance. I missed a pretty good size one yesterday in this spot. So uh, so we'll see if he's still here. That should be good. So I don't know if any of you haven't seen this, met seen this method, but I'm using the bobber method. So you'll just take some of your line when it's loose. Um, like don't make it all the way tight whenever you're um, like letting it sink and stuff and put a bobber on it, a decent sized bobber. And then uh, that will be your indicator when you're getting a bite, it'll, uh, make it to where they have more slack to pull the line and then it'll also make it to where you're visibly obviously able to see that bobber like shaking up and down or you'll see it um, a lot of the time especially if you're not paying attention you can't really hear it like a bell so if you turn around and this bobber is all the way up at your pole you probably have a fish on there so um, it's one of my favorite ways to uh, to tell if I'm getting a bite or not especially if it's not windy um, but as soon as the wind starts to pick up it starts swaying around and stuff and it's kind of hard to tell what's going on but as far as right now goes, it's really good. Got him. Got him, boy. Finally. Come here, boy. We got you now, huh? Where you going, bud? Get the net. Come here, boy. Let's go, baby. Woo it's number one, boys. Let's go. What time is it? I haven't even been here for an hour yet. Yesterday, I wasn't even fishing yet at this time, and we already got one, boys. Nice little rainbow. Like I said, I didn't even really put my pole down or nothing. I just let it sink, and then that was it. Ooh, nice, perfect lip set, too, guys. You guys ready for this release? Here we go. First rainbow of the day. Go on, buddy. There he goes. Whew. All right, let's get back in there. Let's get another one. Got him on the power bait. All right, guys, I was over there on the other side of the lake. Um, I just took the path and walked around. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start on this side. And uh, if I don't get any bites or any fish, like I wanna say every like half hour or so, I'm gonna move my stuff about like 15, 20 feet down or so. We're just gonna make our way along the side of the lake and just see if we can't find these holes where these trout are sitting. So. Also with each pole, I'll be trying out like different uh, depths and stuff or like different distances. One I'll throw out really far, one I'll throw out like a little half distance kind of, and we'll just, uh, we'll figure out where these fish are. All right guys, that was kind of shitty. I don't think my GoPro got it because for some reason uh, when I set the hook and I started reeling it in, I looked down at the GoPro to make sure it was still recording and it was like frozen, um, just not doing anything. So I'm not sure if it captured uh, me actually fighting this fish and getting him. But it's definitely quite a bit better than the first one we got. It's another rainbow. There we go, boys. There we go. Second one of today that we have actually got landed. Can't really get too far into the water, but I'm sure he'll take off. There he goes. Woo! Cool little trout. If I was catching him, like if I was doing a trout uh, catch clean cook, I definitely would have kept that guy. But there he goes. 
Let's go, boys. Let's get some more power bait on there. Let's get another one. Got him. Let's go, boys. Got another one. I was trying to tie on the uh, the Panther Martin spinner. I was trying to get a lure on my pole. And I found this guy. Oh, that's a good one, too. The last two that I've caught are definitely good eaters. These guys are lucky I'm not trying to eat nothing. But just fishing for fun today, boys. Come on. Oh, yeah, you want your little head shakes, huh? Oh, yeah, come on. Let's go, baby. Whew. Guys, the mud is so bad down here, I swear. I'm gonna have to walk in the water a little bit before I get in my car. It's gonna get hella muddy for you. Got a picture of this guy too. All right, now let's get this guy back. <laughs> Wrong way, dude. You gotta go this way. There you go. There he goes. Whoop, whoop. Go oh, boys, that's three that we've gotten in the net today, uh, plus the one that we got yesterday. So let's keep going. Let's get some more. All right, guys, I don't know. That's the second time my GoPro has messed up today, uh, but we finally got one on the spinner. We got one on our uh, black and gold Panther Martin spinner. So let's get this guy unhooked really quick. That's so dumb. I Literally the second time my GoPro has messed up like that today. I'm not sure what it's doing. Got him. Let's go, boys. I literally have a joint in my mouth right now. I'm just fixing to take a break and smoke. Doesn't seem like a very big one, but. Oh, he's, de he's decent, okay. I guess he's not, just not fighting very good. Come here, bud. Oh, he spit it out. No, he's right there. Look at him go. No. Guys, he spit it out. Damn. He's right there, too. I can see him swimming off. Dang it, guys. No, I went. I leaned down to pick up the net, and I picked up the net, and he turned around, and the line got slack for a minute, and he. I just saw it spit right out of his mouth. No, guys. Dang it. That would have been number five on today. I think, right? I think we're at number five. Guys, no. I was just about to take a smoke break too and we almost got number five. It is, it's 1027. So I wanna say we still probably have about another hour or so, hour and a half of decent fishing. Um, but dude, oh my God. Got him boys. He hit the power bait right away. Ooh, he's running. This one's a fighter. Nope, stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down. Oh, I thought he spit it. I would have been so mad. Come here, dude. Oh, come on, come on. Let's go. Woo Let's go, boys. This guy has a little bit more weight to him. I can already tell. It's number five on the day that we've gotten in. Let's go. Yeah, it's a fatty rainbow. There we go. There he is, boys. Right. Let's get this guy unhooked so we can get him out of here so he can fatten up some more. Got him. Got him, boys. Here's number six. Wow, this guy's a head jerker. He's really shaking his head. Come on. Oh, I saw the power bait come out. So I thought he spit it, but the hook is still in his mouth. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. 
Let's go. Let's go, boys. There's number six. Number six, number six. Come on, guy. Don't you want to be free? There he goes. Yeah, that guy was really lively. Even putting him back in the water, he just took off right away. All right. Well, like I always say, guys, let's get baited up. Get back out there. Let's get another one. I got about an hour left to fish, so... If we can get at least one or two more in that time, I'd be happy. Even if we don't get any more shit, we've already got six today. All right, guys, I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video. So I don't think it was a bad day. Uh, I think in total we caught six today and we lost a couple. One, we almost got into the net and lost him. So we could have had a few more today, but all together with the one we caught yesterday and six today, uh, seven trout, I mean, that's not too bad for us being out here both days for a total of maybe like six or seven hours or so um could have been a lot better uh, i know they just did stock this uh lake with like he said like 32,000 33,000 trout or something like that at the beginning of the month um so definitely a good lake lake especially to come if you like uh, trout fishing and stuff so please do let me know if you guys did enjoy this video let me know if you guys want to see me come back to this lake maybe do um like a catch clean cook or just come out here and just fish again see how many i can get um, of course, there's a whole freaking list. I think I have like 10 plus lakes um, that have all been stocked with trout recently that are all within an hour of my apartment. So we're definitely going to be hitting some of those lakes uh, here within the next few weeks. And we'll probably be hitting this one again. So uh, yeah, other than that, this has been Descends and I'll see you guys next time.